I would love to know actually if you can drink that poison. Because remember guys what Mohammed says? Hello guys, yeah, welcome back. I hope you guys are feeling good. So this Muslim has set a challenge from a Christian to drink a poison. Did they actually drink the poison and what happened to him if he did so? Let's check it out. Now I said to you I will prove that I am the real follower of Christ. But before going on to that, there are two challenges. One is in the Quran. In the Quran, there is a challenge that after the Muslims and the Christians are debated in the lifetime of the Prophet, the Prophet challenged them to a mutual cursing. That the Muslims will say, the curse of God be upon us if we lie. And the Christians are challenged to say, may the, God, uh, may the curse of God be upon them if they lie. I'm sure you will accept the Quranic challenge. That I will say openly now, if I am a liar and I am false, May God curse me. You are challenged to accept, uh, to do the same. That is the challenge from the Quran. But then you have a challenge also from Mark, the verses that were taken out by Jesus, ascribed to Jesus himself, where Jesus says, whoever believes and is baptized, you wanted everyone to be baptized here, so you're baptized, will be saved. But whoever does not believe will be condemned. So you're baptized, and this is what you should be able to do. And these signs will accompany those who believe. These signs should accompany you. In my name, they will drive out demons. I'm sure there's no one possessed by a devil here, but nevertheless, they will speak in new tongues. So you said you cannot speak English well, but you should speak in tongues. You should be able to eloquently put your argument across according to speaking in tongues. The apostles were able to speak in any language to the people that they conveyed the message to. Additional, they will pick up snakes with their hands. They will pick up snakes. I do not have a deadly snake, but I have the next thing. And when they drink deadly poison, so I brought poison with me. When they, bring deadly po when they drink <laughs> deadly poison, it will not hurt them at all. Here, rat poison, look. It will not hurt them at all. They will place their hands on sick people. Ali, stand up. There is a brother here, Ali, who is, who is blind. He is blind. He has volunteered for this. He's a sick, and they will get well. So we have a challenge. Jesus has told us who his true followers are. If they are baptized, today's Christians, 200 denominations, even if we abandon Islam, meaning for a secular world order, because really people hate on Islam because of Sharia law. Uh, they can never debate the concept of God in Islam. They always debate Sharia because the Sharia law is the only law that's opposing the UN and all the secular world or Anglo world order. But if we, placing that aside, if we abandon Islam and we have two choices, atheism and we have, which is more rational than Christianity. The second one is Christianity, 200 denominations. You tell us Catholics are wrong. Protestants within themselves, you have Baptists, Seventh-day Adventists, you have Jehovah's Witnesses, so many sects to choose from. Jesus has told us that the true Christians can drink poison. They can cure people like Ali. Are you able to fulfill that challenge? Are you able to drink rat uh, poison? The rat poison is here for anyone to come and drink the rat poison. And if they cannot, well, it's a safety cap on here. I leave this. They, they should be able to drink rat poison and cure Ali. And those will be the true followers of Jesus. Yeah, I'll just quickly say something. Just in regards to the poison, quickly. Can yeah, I was going to respond to well? that. Yeah. Sorry, just in regards to the poison, um, as I said, that that isn't in the earliest manuscript, so the poison uh, doesn't va uh, work. And also in regards to, but even if it was in the earliest manuscripts, okay, you can respond. <laughs> um, I would love to know. I would love to know actually if you can drink that poison, because. Remember, guys, what Muhammad says? Just drink the poison, get a date, it should help you. <laughs> That's right, it says that. Okay, date, can someone go and get a date? And also, poison. can someone <laughs> check if it is poison or not? <laughs> right, I think we should leave that, leave that there. Uh, I don't know what the public liability is so, like here, Hamza. So. Um, I'm feeling a bit. <laughs> right. Um, so of course someone okay. needs to question if that is poison or some deception is going there or uh, not. Sure we'll we will check that. Last right, question. thank you, thank you. Uh, we've just got a time as well. Um, well. We'll get that checked in the labs shortly. Got a question down here. 
Uh, and then we're going to we're rapidly moving to close now. I can see a few more hands. We'll try to get through as many as we can. I'm going to limit the. I'm going to limit the responses to two minutes now, because we want to finish just around nine o'clock. Got a question here. Okay. Um, the sheikh was going to prove that he is the real lover of Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him. Okay. Um, with regard to what Khalib said, that. Uh, it was an honor for people to die for the sake of someone else in previous cultures and it's no longer honorable, then that would mean you should accept the marriage of Aisha Allah, because it was a cultural accepted fact, fact at that time and it's not accepted anymore. Additional to that, uh, you mentioned uh, a few more points, but I cannot remember them. Maybe the poison is taking its effect. <laughs> I said is it real? that, that is a I, you see it's a matter of faith. This is a matter of faith, yeah? So you're uh, saying it's real? Uh, basically, um, we had Ali there for you to cure and poison to drink. Now you said that you do not believe those verses are a part of the Bible, yes? So you're telling us to believe in a Bible which has verses that you yourself do not believe in. Meaning, what, what kind of religion is this that some, one group of people are saying these are verses from God and another group of Christians are saying that these are not verses from so God. This is a, a, a contradiction. So, so the Quran says, do you believe in some of the book and reject some of the book? So this is a big problem for Muslims because we accept all the Quran from beginning to end. But you have just acknowledged that this uh, aspect is not from the Bible. So to conclude, the reason why a person should be a Muslim is because in Islam we have true belief in a monotheistic transcendent God and uh, which is a perfect uh, absolute being and if anyone <coughs> believes in a human being a man God a demigod they are in fact falling into paganism and a great guys did they actually take the poison? Because I don't understand that part. Was that actually a poison? He consumed, he drank. Because if it was a poison, it didn't have any effect on him. How? No matter how, I know sometimes some poison takes, it takes time before it starts showing its, its effect, but the man still looks so strong. And um, that's, uh, that's, um, that's, I don't even know. I'm short of words, guys. Like he said, he said, why will you believe in the Bible which you don't, you cannot prove? Because he, he has already proved what was in the Quran. You know, he took the poison. But please, please and please, is that a poison he consumed? Are you sure that was a poison he drank? Because I don't know. I'm doubting it. I'm doubting it because the way he took it with all confidence and he kept on drinking inside. You know when you want to take something that is deadly, no matter how strong you want to, you want to feel, no matter how strong you want to behave, there's no way you will not be shaking or be scared of you taking such dangerous or harmful substance. That's what really surprised me about this video. But apart from that, wow, that was really, 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 really surprising. Like. I'm still trying to get over it and the fact that the man can still talk freely and talk well is amazing. Well, thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.